Namaste, my name is Srizana Suwal. Today I'm here for the class 7 and 8 of the science. The first unit that is the measurement. Here, what is measurement? In our day to day activities, we perform various activities such as while in the kitchen or while in the moving to some different places, we use measurement such as for an accurate dimension of an object. We measure the length for the accurate dimension, we measure the volume, as well as for an accurate capacity or quantity of an object. When a milkman brings the mix, they use a certain accurate measurement. And for distance travel, we use a certain distance for a certain uh, calculation of the time, that is the measurement. And then what is measurement then? Measurement is the comparison of the unknown quantity that is the physical quantity with a known standard quantity that is called measurement. Then what is physical quantity? The physical quantity that means the quantity the body which contains matter is called quantity which contains the matter that is quantity and there are two types of quantity that is the physical quantity and the non-physical quantity. Whereas uh, physical quantity the quantity which can be measured that is physical quantity such as the you know, this is the marker. We can measure the length of this marker. And we can measure different things such as that may be the length, mass and time that is calculated on the clock. There are different instruments used for the measuring the things. And then the non-physical quantity that is which we cannot measure such as the happiness, talent, weak, sad. We can't measure such things that is under the non-physical quantity. Then, under the physical quantity, there are two types of physical quantity. That is the fundamental quantity and the derived quantity. Fundamental quantity. Those physical quantity that are independently formed and have their own identity are known as the fundamental quantity. Such as, for example, mass, length, time, temperature, etc. That we can measure. Whereas the derived quantity, those quantities that are independent with the fundamental physical quantity. These are the fundamental quantities that are independent. That is called derived quantity. Such as the pressure, density, force, etc. That belongs to the derived quantity which depends on the fundamental quantity. Here, unit. For that fundamental quantities, for that, for the comparison of the unknown quantity, that is the, we have the standard reference quantity, that is called unit. Under the unit, there are two types of unit, that is fundamental units and derived unit. Fundamental unit, the unit of the fundamental quantity are called fundamental units, that is independent and cannot be derived from the other units, that is fundamental units. And under the derived units, that is composed of the fundamental units and are originated from the products and the ratio of that fundamental units. Derived units belongs to the physical quantities that are derived from the basic physical properties. For example, pressure, density, force, etc. And for that fundamental quantity, there is a certain terms, that is the SI unit. That the SI unit, that is uh, to make the all over the whole world, overall world to be in the same, convenient, uniform and the, for the scientific measurement, they use the SI unit. That is more convenient, that is accepted all over the world. In 1960s, October, uh, the world, the 11th conference of the weight and the mass, weight and the measurement accepted and the term as given as term as the SI unit that is accepted all over the world. There are seven physical quantities that is the length, mass, time, temperature, electric current, luminous intensity, amount of the matter. According to this physical quantity, they have their own SI unit. That is meter, kilogram, second, Kelvin, temperature, uh, ampere, candela, and the mole. It has the physical quantity has the own SI units. These are the symbols that is given for the these units. 
Now, international system of the yield. As we know that in the ancient time, people used different measurements, such as they used mana, pathi, uh, they used their hands for measuring. So, according to that, there are different systems. That is the FPS system, where the lady is measured in foot, mass is measured in pound, and time is measured in second. Whereas in CDS system, lady is measured in centimeters, mass is measured in gram, and the time is measured in second. And in the MKS system, Length is measured in meter, mass is measured in kilogram, time is measured in second. These are the systems that is used. Now, here, pressure is known as a derived quantity Y. These types of questions are the reasonable question that is asked or mostly asked in the BLE. What will be the answer for this? As we know that pressure. What is pressure? Pressure is the force acting per area. That is the force divided by and then what is the formula of the force? What is force thing? The force. The formula of the force is Ma. That is the mass into acceleration due to Acceleration due to gravity. Here, yeah. divided by area. What is area then? Area is the length into braid. And then mass is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. That is the A or G. That is unit. Yeah. Meter divided by time. Square divided by that is length. That is the length square. That means mass into length by times square divided by length square. That means length. That means pressure depends on mass. Pressure depends on length. Pressure depends on time. So, pressure is known as derived quantity. That depends on the, the weight stops, mass, length and time. Now, now this must for this class. Now, here are the some homeworks. There are the some homeworks for you so that you have to learn it and then that will be homework. Write the difference between fundamental quantity and derived quantity. Why is density known as the derived quantity? These types of reasonable questions are mostly asked in the unit 1. Then write the difference between fundamental unit and derived unit. Then write the importance of the measurement. These are the questions that is mostly asked in the exam. So, thank you. Up to this, thank you. Stay safe.